Hello everyone and welcome to the first chess game of Paul Morphy in the Paul Morphy's chess game series. And in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is Alonzo Morphy, his father. This game has been played in New Orleans in 1848. Paul Morphy was only 11 years old when this game has been played. And Alonzo Morphy wants to show a little lesson to his son. Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4. e5, f4, king's gambit, accepted. Bishop to c4, queen to h4, check. King to f1, and then bishop to c5. Black is threatening checkmate. Paul Morphy played d4, blocking the bishop. Bishop to b6, knight to f3, attacking the queen. Queen to e7, knight to c3, knight to f6, queen to d3, c6, bishop takes on f4, d5, e takes on d5, and Alonzo Morphy castled, let's take it back. If pawn takes pawn, then rook to e1, attacking the queen, bishop to e6, then knight takes on d5, and it doesn't look good for black. So Alonzo Morphy castled. Paul Morphy played d6, attacking the queen. Queen to d8, rook to e1, rook to e8, knight to g5. Rook takes rook, king takes rook. Queen to e8, that's check. King to d2, bishop to e6, rook to e1, pinning the bishop. Knight b to d7, and Paul Morphy played. Knight takes bishop. Pawn takes knight, and then rook takes on e6. And Paul Morphy's father, Alonzo Morphy, resigned. Well, rook takes on e6. This is zugzwing for black, because black is forced to make a bad move. And whatever black does, black is losing the queen or getting checkmated. So let's say if queen to f8. Then rook takes on f6, that's check with the bishop. King to h8, rook takes queen. If queen to d8, then rook to e8, that's checkmate on the spot. Queen to f7, then rook to e7, pinning the queen. Queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, it's over for black. That's why after rook takes on e6, Alonzo Morphy resigned, and Paul Morphy won easily when he was only 11 years old. And he shows how to beat your dad at chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.